Penalties put our offense in first and 20 about three times and affected field position. That was the difference in the first half is we won the field position battle and we played clean. And like I had said yesterday, they were in minus 20 of most of the most of the first half, and when Cornish would rip off a run, you could still survive because they weren't in, in scoring position. But um, that all changed, obviously, in the second half. You're at a fairly experienced football club. How can the discipline end change like that so drastically over a halftime? Well, I mean, if I had a better answer for you, I would have stopped it, right? Um, you know, you're on the road, and things start to snowball, and we didn't have enough I don't know if you call it leadership or not, but um, you know we just didn't have enough to, to stop the momentum or make the big play that that kind of turned it around. We had a you know we had a decent drive going there to start the fourth quarter, and um, I thought that was an important part of the game when we converted there on second and medium, and then um, and then lost the ball. And you know, we had the the two turnovers were you know ten points that they scored. So it's the way it goes in this game. So I told you guys yesterday. What did you uh, What did you make of Slayton's uh, ejection? I have to see it on film, Frank. He just apologized to the team, so I'm assuming it was fairly ridiculous. Levon's second fumble in the second half as well. There was those Those to me were the two key plays. The Levon's. Yeah. Agreed. Fumble. I mean that even when we ran the reverse, the big penalties there. Instead of having you know a reasonable second and eight, you know we're whatever it was second and thirty. And um, that's kind of when the momentum really changed. You know, they had scored prior to that, and then they scored again. And like you said, the uh, we had the fumble followed by the ejection. And um, you know, give them credit; they played well and, and came back and deserved to win the game. Late, late in, this, in the first half, Scott, I don't know if you you agree to this, but you guys were conservative. You, you ran a ball when you were throwing. You threw that flanker to mm -hmm. to, to Andre. Defensively, they weren't as aggressive. They were offside on second down where they, mm -hmm. they would have kicked the field goal, and they ended up, they ended up scoring a touchdown. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember that season. No, I do. I do. Yeah, on first down, we ran the ball, um, and we missed a block. It should have been uh, a fairly big play. And then um, and then on second down, you know, like you said, it was a read. It was an option uh, with Ricky, and based on what, what they played, if it was man, he would have gone uh, to a route to the other side. And, again, we missed the block, so it was two. Two missed blocks on back-to-back -back plays, and uh, and then we didn't have a very good punt. And you know, like you said, we had the penalties when we had them. I don't know if it was second down or whatever, but kept the drive alive. And um, ultimately, they scored. That was a big point in the game too. But the, but the penalties. I mean, you, when when you guys do play well, you, you, there aren't any. There's there's ball security. There's pass protection. Right. Is is what 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 happened for most of the, of the first half? 